A memoir telling the courageous story of a World War II hero is hitting store shelves once again. Of the book, Luck of the Draw, My Story of the Air War in Europe, was written by Airman Frank Murphy, originally published back in 2001. It's being re-released starting tomorrow. And uh, Murphy's story, it details so many uh, harrowing adventures, uh, the combat against Nazis and uh, the personal account of surviving months in a German prisoner of war camp. He was one of only a few from the 100th bomb group to come out alive after his B-17 Flying Fortress was shot down. Uh, Murphy went on to receive an Air Medal, a Purple Heart, a Prisoner of War Medal before passing away in 2007 at the age of 85. And today, his family is making sure that his story lives on. Frank's daughter, Elizabeth Murphy, uh, Murphy is joining me right now. Elizabeth, thank you for being with us. I, this is so honorable uh, for you to be doing this, but what is the significance of a re-release of this book after 20 years? Nearly well, thank you years. so much for years. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Well, as you said, um, my dad wrote this book back in the early 90s. He spent about 10 years working on this book. It was supposed to just be for our family, but of course um, it was uh, published in 2001 by a small publisher, but subsequently it went out of print. When my daughter and I learned that it had been used for source material for Don Miller's Masters of the Air, and my dad would be a supporting character in the series, we just decided this was an opportune time to try to have it republished because it was always my dad's wish that it would reach a larger audience, and we're following in his footsteps, and any uh, proceeds we receive, we are giving to veterans groups. Oh, I love it. And, and obviously, uh, they all need the help, all the help they can get. Uh, your, yes. your dad yeah. spending that time in the uh, prisoner of war camp for 18 months. Uh, is there anything that is not in the book that your dad might have shared with you that compels you to carry on this legacy? Uh, I, I would like to say yes, but actually everything I learned I, it was from reading his book. Uh, I talk about in the 60s when I was growing up, my mother had made a, an album with memorabilia that we loved leafing through. But we didn't know any of the details or full story until the book was written. And that's when I learned about all those uh, daylight bombing raids and the march, uh, that death march through the snow for 27 hours where so many of the men died. And I just realized how much uh, perseverance and courage and resilience my father and all those airmen had, all those men. It, it, it's truly uh, the greatest generation. Uh, again, this project, yes, this mini-series, Masters of the Air, co-produced by Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> uh, big names and uh, featuring a character based on your dad. Uh, do you think that they got it right? Austin Butler, we just saw that clip right there. Uh, well, actually, uh, Chloe was fortunate to go with some other family members to the set uh, about a, more than a year ago and see the recreation of the prison camp and FaceTime me from there. Uh, we've met and talked to Jonas Moore, and he's going to do a great job playing my dad. He also uh, taped the audio ver version of the book. So we are beyond excited because it doesn't get any better than Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, and my father loved everything they did. That's wonderful. Elizabeth Murphy, thank you so much. And again, that book going to be re-released tomorrow. Luck of tomorrow. the draw. Thank you again for your time, and congratulations. Thank you for letting me honor my dad. Absolutely. Honor where honor is due. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.